Rainbow Ink! Hey guys, and welcome back to Rainbow Ink. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. You've seen the title already. Instead of a Disney Bound, this is a Disney Bound redo. So pretty much, if you don't know what this is, it's pretty much me redoing old Disney Bound. It's pretty much me redoing my old, somewhat terrible, entirely terrible Disney Bounds. And today, as you've seen in the title and thumbnail, it is Elsa from Frozen. Before we go over the items, because I have completely new different items. Now before we go over the items, we're going to do a rundown of the character on how it originally had dressed and looked. For this one I'm going to show up two different pictures when it comes to time of for my top half and my bottom half because at the time we are recording on a phone and we weren't far enough back away so fine. So the first picture on your screen you see me in a blue top. I do not have that top anymore. The ruffles on the side so I have to extenuate her sleeves and also on top of my stupid stupid head we have a stupid dumb hair crown piece that has a piece of hair coming down the back of it or in this case the side of it that I got from Disney on Ice years before this. It was also themed so fun. I need to clarify how old is this video? This video is over five years old. Jesus. What was I thinking back then? I don't know. Next picture you see on your screen now, I know it's a little bit hard to see when it comes to the shoes, but we have this blue skirt with a back trim on it to symbolize well her back, like trim her tape, whatever. And I know this part's hard to see, but there's also, I'm wearing blue sneakers, tennis shoes, whatever you want to say. I just remember those shoes being my mom's old shoes and I had to like try and find like a pair of blue shoes. And I know this like one came out poorly and these beginning ones always came out poorly, so there's that. I don't think I wore any jewelry or anything like that, so that's fine and dandy and everything else. So that is what I wore five years ago. Let's see what I have now. Please note, no shoes and anything used in past Disney Bounds because there are some items that were used in past normal Disney Bounds. There'll be a card right up there and also in the link of description below. I'm still deciding whether or not in the link of description below if the original video is gonna be there I would recommend not watching it because it's terrible and I might have it to this point um but if I hadn't deleted it'll be in the link description below if you guys want to check out the original video of also in the link description below there will be a playlist of other Disney Bound redos that I did in the past my other three and also a Disney Bound playlist as well in a Disney playlist is just full of random stuff that's Disney culture anyways I've been stalling for long enough let's check out what I have so firstly we have a way better skirt because that one in the original video was like a dark blue this is a lighter blue it's a light blue this is more closer to the trim um, between hers and maybe Cinderella's so just a normal plain blue skirt the only difference is between that one in the original video is there's not gonna be any trim for her like Kate to represent that so we'll just have to make do for that so, so skirt next up we have a plain blue shirt it's pretty much the same color, this is just a little bit lighter than that one, but it's pretty much the same color blue. The last time this shirt was actually used was in Cricut Green up there, also in the description below if you want to check out how I used the shirt in that. Dizzy Bound, so yeah, just a plain blue shirt. It's going to represent her top. And then finally, I had to do something at least for her braid or the little um, snowflakes in her hair, because I think there's like little snowflake crystals in her hair or whatever. I couldn't find anything sadly snowflake-like, so I have this bow that's going to go on the side of my head, you guys know. I don't always put it in the back so you guys can see it and yeah it's gonna go on the side of my head i'm gonna probably keep my hair on my ponytail and try and slip it over like her and like put this on the other side to represent how she has her hair braided this was last used in tweedledee and slash tweedledum disney bound up there also in the description below and yeah this is what i have let's see how it all looks together all right here i am the disney bound redo of Elsa, we have the skirt, the shirt, we have the bow on the side, you guys know I don't put it all the way to the back so you guys can see and I have some control over it. And then I just flip my hair over my shoulder, I know my hair is not that long anymore. It's getting back to that. Oh, so what I didn't say in the rundown is the reason why you're getting this video instead of the Laura Whitefoot, again, don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, is I still need a little bit more time to get that stuff all situated, so that's why you're getting this video, so fun! <laughs> 
So anyway, tell me in the comments below if this was a good redo or a bad redo. Yeah. But I think this is way better, at least, than the original video. Again, still debating if I want to do a video or not. Might keep it. Again, original video is in the link description, so. Fun. So unlike a normal Disney Mail where we pull for the next character, that's not happening in this. So you'll have to come back next time here on Rainbow Inc. to see my next Disney Mail, which is Laura Whitefoot for Onward. So you have to come back here on Rainbow Link. Please make sure to like and subscribe and all that beautiful jazz. Tell me in the comments below what you guys think. Last video right there. Subscriber beneath me and also playlist of the Disney Mountain Redos are right above it and I'll see you guys next time here on Rainbow Link. Bye!